detector columns usually contain either tray, random packing, or structured packing. Now for a large volume of gas, the contactor is usually a tray column consisting of 4 to 12 trays. And of course, the greater the number of trays, the more moisture can be removed. Each tray has openings with bubble caps bolted over them. The upflowing gas is forced through these caps and bubbles evenly through the downflowing glycol. The gas gives up water and becomes drier as it passes upward through each succeeding tray. The glycol becomes more saturated with water as it flows downward over each tray. Weirs, which are dam-like devices, Maintain the level of glycol above the slots in the bubble caps. The downcomers carry the glycol to the trays below. In smaller capacity units, contactors having a diameter of 18 inches or less, random packing may be used instead of trays. Uh, this packing is metal like these, or it could be plastic or ceramic structures. These structures provide a large surface area for the glycol solution to spread out and make better contact with the gas. Random packing is poured into the contactor onto a support grid. Four feet of packing is usually standard and sufficient to achieve the dew point depressions up to 55 to 65 degrees Fahrenheit. If higher dew point depressions are needed, additional packing may be required. Packed columns utilize the same process as tray columns, where liquid glycol flows down over the packing and the gas flows up through the packing. Packed columns are less expensive. However, they tend to channel and have poor flow distribution. Channeling is when the liquid glycol flows in streams throughout the random packing. Channeling limits the surface area where the glycol and gas come into contact. To ensure that gas and glycol mixing will be continuous throughout the packing and the glycol will not channel, a well-designed glycol distribution header is installed above the packing. Contactors being designed today may contain structured packing. Now, structured packing is a group of corrugated metal sheets welded into a specific pattern and placed on edge in the contactor. Glycol coats these sheets and the gas flows between them.